see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, I'm Royal Sophie and I post Royal High videos on my channel for you guys to watch. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about what is the real worth in diamonds of the candy items that you can buy in the candy store. So before we get started make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's begin. Okay so as you know we got the autumn halloween update a few days ago and you can farm for candies to buy items in the shop for accessories but you can also convert your candies into diamonds at this store but you can't convert your diamonds into candies so the only way to get candies is by farming for them you can't trade for them or anything like that so that means that the only way to buy these accessories and get them are either by buying them with the candy or trading for the accessories themselves. And like, it's quite hard to get a decent amount of candy to buy the accessories. Like, I've seen that roughly it takes around an hour just to get 1,000 candy. So that is a long time just for 1,000. And let's just take a look at the prices quickly. So say you worked an hour to get a thousand candy, you could only get like this kind of stuff. This is pretty cheap, but then it gets more and more expensive. So these are pretty decent priced, I'd say. Like an hour-ish, probably a bit more than an hour to get each accessory, but that is still a long time. And then this one, two hours-ish for just the vampire crown. This is like three hours three hours that's a long time just to be doing the same thing over and over again just for like some small wrist cuffs and then like all of this it takes a long time like the backpack as well the skirt is so expensive the kitty ears are also a lot like ten thousand. imagine farming for 10 hours that's kind of just a bit crazy at this point and then the otherworldly potion is twenty thousand. like just imagine 20 hours that is so long it's probably slightly less than that. This is just like roughly if we were to say it was around an hour. So yeah, it is a lot. It takes a long time just to get some candies. For me, it like makes me really dizzy and bored and like my head hurts and I just can't sit and farm. So I don't think I'm going to be farming that much for candies in this update. Just because it's going to take ages and there's better things I could be doing with my time. But you do have like 26 days to get it all, so it's quite a long time. But yeah, now let's get on to how much it is worth in diamonds. So like I'd say there isn't a set price, but I'll just say around about. I think that like these two earrings are pretty cheap since they will be easy to get. And it will be what a lot of people buy first. So there will probably be quite a lot of these out there. So like in diamonds, I'd say people would offer like... 5,000 at the most, not too much because they are just the basic earrings that probably everyone is going to end up buying. Then we have the pumpkin costume. This is very cute. This is probably going to be popular next year as well. So like if you have it next year and if like people inflate the price and charge loads for it. The um, eyepiece as well. So like these I'd say... I don't know, 10,000 diamonds at most. That's probably a bit too much itself. The Although it is like quite a while as well. The chamber chains, which are very cute. It's just like these chain accessories. I love these actually. I think I'm going to buy these at one point. Those are very cute. They'll probably be popular at some point. I'd say 10 to 15k is what people would offer. After this, like we're going to look on tradery and tradery is always overpriced. But we're just going to see like what people are saying. Uh, the knife, yeah, the pumpkin berry is very cute. These are all very nice. Um, the ghosty transformation, this kind of stuff, I'd say like 20k each, around about. Just because like it takes over an hour to get. And they are quite cute as well. Then like as we go down, these two, probably like more like 30k, 20k-ish. And then the um, vamp toad and the goth lolita purse. I don't know, I'd guess like... 40,000, 30,000 ish. That's probably going a bit too high as well, but that's like my guess. And then, like, these two, I don't know, like 50,000. Like, say this um, 
using the candy converter, it would be 15,000 diamonds for 5 hours of your time. How long does it take for you to farm 15,000 diamonds? Just like normally, it doesn't take you 5 hours. So that's why I think that the candy conversion... converter... ness Using it like to say a price when trading isn't really that accurate because like 5 hours, 15,000 diamonds, I don't really see it adding up. Yeah, and then the skirt, quite expensive. I know someone who got this for 100,000 diamonds. That's a lot. That's like a crazy amount for a skirt. Like, skirts aren't that much. But yeah, and then this would also be 15,000 diamonds if it was using the free candies to one diamond ratio. And then the otherworldly potion, 20,000 candies, but 60,000 diamonds. I don't agree with that. I think this is going to be pretty rare because not many people are going to farm for this. So like, it's going to be a kind of special item. And then the broomstick, lots of people already have, like, you can already get it. It's, there's quite a few people who have it. So now let's take a look on Tradery to see what people are pricing these as. So first look, and I see it's pretty expensive, like the skirt, 158,000, that's 50,000, 143,000, 700,000. But we do have to keep in mind that Tradery overprices things a lot because it's people trading stuff, like trying to look for the best price. Yeah, like 50,000, 45,000 ish. Some people are going higher for this. The otherworldly potion, a million diamonds. A halo. Yeah, I've seen people talking about trading a halo for it. A Halloween halo 2021. Wow. You do have to keep in mind that like half of these are fake. Just trying to increase the value. But yeah, that is quite a lot still. So overall, I think that if you do want to get these accessories by trading for it with diamonds, I'd recommend waiting a bit for more people to get them and then trade them because then the prices will probably go down as they get more common. So yeah, that's what I'd recommend. I think I'm going to end up trading for them just because I can't, I can't see myself farming for 10 hours and more. It'll literally take ages. So yeah. Anyway guys, that is all for today's video. If you do want to try and get the Goffy, no, what's it called? The um, Goff Lolita set that you do buy with candies purely. I have a giveaway going on right now for that set. So you can go ahead and enter that to try and get a free set. Who knows, you might win it. It ends on the 31st of October. So why not enter it? It's not like you're gonna lose anything. The rules are really, really simple. So I'll link that in the description down below. And I also have a giveaway going on for the Halloween Halo 2020. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.